like okay. I'm the one who's correct there, you know, like like yeah. who's be like who's V S J W you know? Like, Wait, can yeah. you say, repeat that when you you get called S J W? Like remember when even like in in the like last time uh, I ma I was making a case explaining systemic discrimination, and I had like everybody against me. But now that we see like what happens as a result of systemic discrimination when people can literally kill a black guy and get away with it, like um oh my god so I don't have the energy to, to uh, we've been talking for two hours now two yeah, and a yeah. half because I have. I have a response to that, but that's going to make all of you guys go like, what the fuck, Armin? Why are like, you oh, power so cut. <laughs> X. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, my, uh, before you got cut out, my, I do my think, point okay, let me just tell you something. I think Jack is going to hate me after I say this. No, uh, <laughs> probably. Go ahead. Oh my God. I think. Oh my God! This is gonna be... Jack. Sorry. Okay, I I apologize in advance. Okay. Friendship I'm... over. Just before you even start, friendship over. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared now. Right? <laughs> Again, I could be wrong, but I think that if the person in the same story was white, this would have gotten zero attention. Actually, I agree. Oh, I agree. Okay. Yeah, I, I think there's kind of like a there's a kind of cost benefit thing. Where I think that if it's a, a black person, there's actually a a lot of um, there's just a a better like uh, in terms of like your SJWs and all that stuff, you know, if, if people you would call that. Plus, the black community are just more kind of like focused on like a boom reaction. We'll get this out. Whereas like with the white person, it'd just be like, uh, are we sure? Are we really sure? Whereas I think there's no, a I lot of kind of like. It's I think it's mostly because people don't that's care about white people. No, much. no, it's yeah. all. It's, it's less likely to happen, so it's like a cost-benefit yeah. thing. Like, wait, and it's not it's just more like, It's more likely to happen. No, like, I mean it's this... less likely for the white white guy oh. to be killed than a black guy to be killed through racism, you... right? Oh, through but, racism, but killed in yeah, general, yeah. white person like, is more likely. Well, there's more white people. Yeah, but there's <laughs> also, <laughs> but per per capita. I just said per capita, I also think it's still more more black people. I mean, per capita, most black people are being killed by other black people. And I'm not dismissing, again, this is not dismissing racism. This is not dismissing racism, okay? I'm not saying uh, black people are like, not... <laughs> like, so uh, I feel like a lot of times when people try so hard to be an anti-SJW, they end up in these very weird situations where they have to defend such weird things. Like, like for example, like I, I used the example of Tim Pool earlier. Like he, like in his attempt to be so, oh, look at the left, we are so crazy and all that stuff. Like he shared a video of another black guy walking on a construction site, like trespassing. Yeah, you tell that, like, but he, but the problem is, it also works the other way, Wickram. So because of so many people try so hard to be anti-SJW, they end up taking weird positions. And those, but those, but, but that makes a lot of people that are properly being anti-SJW have to come up with a million fucking disclaimers <laughs> before they could properly be anti-SJW. You know what I mean? Like, if you have to make so many disclaimers, that should say quite a bit about being anti-SJW, no, right? Like, it, no, no, no. It says a lot about the environment where you can't call out real stupid behavior without people making a shit ton of assumptions. Like, you I could mean, say, we could say facts and people are going to be like, oh, you're probably a fucking racist. So, like, it does say a lot about other people, not just about you that you have to make a shit ton of disclaimers. But when you make a speech, you have a responsibility to be sure that what you're saying comes off the right way, right? The responsibility it's... goes both ways. Yeah, but it, you have there's... you have a part as well. Yeah, I ac I accept that I have a responsibility, but sometimes people think that responsibility only lies on me. The responsibility also lies on other people. A lot of people try to attempt to me make make what you said mean something that you never intended to say. The responsibility side from both directions. There's a, especially when there's a genuine attempt to make it seem like you're saying things that you're not. 
Yeah, I mean, ob- like obviously, like every side is gonna have some form of a responsibility, but I would argue that this the person making the claim has a bigger responsibility than the person listening in. Of course, the person listening in also has a responsibility to be sure that they actually heard what you said, but that doesn't mean that therefore you can do all these kinds of irresponsible behavior like what Tim Holt did. I agree that both sides are responsible, but it seems like... But one side is more responsible than the other. I don't know how you... What do you mean by more? I don't know how you calculate that, but maybe you're right. I don't... Yeah, you're probably right because you're making a statement. But I do... But... but 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 I mean, when I when but my experience maybe it's not reflective of what the norm is. My experience has been, people genuinely try to attribute things to things that uh, positions that I have, that I think have made it made very clear that I have not. Yeah, I mean that's a that's really bad, right? Like, I'm not gonna like, defend that, obviously. Yeah, I mean I'm not. I don't know which one is more happening more. It's just my experience has been, mm-hmm. even very clear statements make make people think like you're like i don't know what else to do to show that i'm not against killing muslims like i don't know what else to do right <laughs> but it seems like people are hell-bent on making making it seem that i'm pro-genocide like i don't know what like what what have i done maybe i'm wrong but what have what have i done to make it seem like i'm pro-genocide against muslims have i done anything that said anything like is there any like have i been irresponsible in any ways i'm not saying i have it but I would hope that I could be shown where I have been irresponsible. That's most uh, Muslims' uh, assumption, because when you attack Islam, they mostly think that way. I <laughs> mean, to be fair, it, to be fair to Muslims, it's Christians do not it the most, too. Like. No, no, to, no. It, it's mostly with regards to Islam, but it's not from Muslims. <laughs> like the Muslims are like, no, fuck you. Islam is right, and you're wrong. The, it's mostly like the white guilt. Western okay. people that yeah. are think that are say like Muslims uh. <laughs> usually don't tell me that I'm pro genocide like Muslims are like yeah I know you're against Islam and not against Muslims but fuck you for being against Islam anyways right so <laughs> that's what I get from again not all Muslims but that most Muslims understand that I don't want to kill Muslims but they still hate me they think that's even bigger problem they they would have loved they would have think it would be less problematic if I was against Muslims instead of against Islam. It's mostly these like Western people that think like accuse you of being pro genocide and shit like that or bigoted. Neo leftist, I, I, I assume. Yeah. Well, no, well, hashtag not all like regressive, <laughs> yeah. regressive left. Regressive neo leftist. Yeah, but that behavior is not like a it's not a left wing behavior. It's like uh, for yeah. our, I showed oh, the example that? to. No, no, no. Who I'm not. This? I'm just making a. I'm just yeah. making a general statement. Yeah. Yeah, I, right. I I showed the example to Jack I think yesterday where like I there was this actor in like um, Brie Larson in Captain Marvel like I was told that oh she said that she doesn't want white men watching her movie like how horrible is she she's a bigot and all that stuff and I went to listen to what she said in context that's not at all what she said all she said was that she always she wants to see like more people being able to have access to her movies. Especially because I think she made a movie about like uh, denouncing some form of systemic discrimination, and as a result of that, she was like, you know what, I want to see, I want to see other people as well come watch my movie, not just like white men. That was her right. point. But they just took that yeah. one sentence yeah. out of context, and everyone was like, oh look, she's a bigot, she's all that stuff. Matt, Matt, what do you think? Oh yeah, but why is she assuming that? That's kind of weird for for me. It's I don't know. Mm-hmm. What's what's weird? Why is she assuming that there? I mean, mostly white people are watching Marvel movies. No, they have access in, to statistics. Was, they no, have. No, it's, yeah, but it's they not specific really... to the ones about people of color, like Pat, like Black Panther. Yeah, it's not that it's she like was saying that. It's, yeah, it's more that she, I think she was talking about how um, like people who are reviewing the movies, people who are like working in like the, the in the movie industry. Like she, she was complaining that a lot of people of color, a lot of she was talking about teenagers as well, like a whole variety of people who had the talent and all, just were not given that opportunity, even though they were there. And she was saying that we should give them the opportunity as well. That's so, what she meant to say. Let me say something that might get me labeled as a regressive la- leftist for a change. Um, this is something that a lot of maybe right wing people will think like, "What the fuck, Armin? Are you serious?" Um, 
I actually think that if you go to, I don't know, a music festival or a boardroom or a school in a, dem- in, a, in, a, in a school in a demographic diverse area and you see like shit, 99% of the people there are white, okay? I think that's a sign of a problem. Um, I don't think the, it itself is a problem. I think it's a sign of a problem, but itself being, you know, like if, let, let's say every goddamn boardroom everywhere in the world was like everywhere in, the, in a certain country that is diverse is 90, 90% white men, okay? The fact that there's white men there is not itself a problem, but it's a sign of a problem. Okay, and that's why I don't think the solution is to just go in and like, oh, let's just put more women here because you just fixed an indicator of a problem. You didn't fix the actual problem. You know what I mean? You didn't the signal of a problem existing in society. You just removed the signal. You know, you didn't actually is that is that if you have a te- you put a temperature like, you know, you had a te- thermometer in your mouth and you'd be like, Oh, you have fever. Or like, okay, let me just put a faulty thermometer that doesn't go high in your mouth instead. Or like, oh, great, you don't have fever anymore because this is not going up. Like, so I don't. That's why I don't think that just forcibly changing the demographics, you're not actually fixing the problem that is being indicated. But I do agree that if you like, if I if somebody tells me like, Armin, it seems like your only white people watch your videos. I'm not going to be like, oh, no, white people, sh- I wish less white people watch my show. I'm like, I would be like, why? Like, what's have why? Like, I would be like, I don't, I don't know. What am I doing wrong? I don't know. Again, so again, this might give me as a regress, give me label as a regressive leftist. People are like, who cares? It's fine. Why do you care about the, why do you care about the color of the people that are watching it? Because there must be a reason why white, only white people are watching it. And that reason is probably a problem. Okay, so I agree that that's a problem. Again, I might lose a lot of my anti-SJW people here by saying that. That is a sign of, itself is not a problem, but it's a sign of a problem. Does that make sense? You agree, yeah. Guys? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> but but I, I do think that there there is there is at least like merit to having more like diverse like visible diversity of all kinds. At least it kind of like it's almost like a uh, something that you can look up to and be like, oh, this 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 is possible. But it's it's kind of like fixing it at the end of the line. It's like if you if you only do that, you're kind of missing all the st- stages along the way that helps that not be necessary. So yeah, it's kind of like there's there's both both sides of it. Yeah. So I I don't think diversity is progress. I think diversity is a sign of progress. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like if you go yeah, through it, uh, yeah, go ahead. I mean, I mean, yeah. Yeah, you could say that on the, in the US, but in Japan, I mean, you have a hard time being a Japanese citizen, I mean, a citizen in Japan. Yeah, a and I, again, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of people, a lot of I like ethno national, a lot of ethno nationalists point to Japan. But I think, for example, to counter ethno nationalists, um, I think Japan, no matter how how great it is, it would be even greater uh, if they if they tapped into migra- like the benefits from migration. And I think they're realizing that right now. Well, they're like the the Japan is like fuck. We need Filipinos here, right? Like they're like ta- <laughs> they're like they're like like maybe we should remove some restrictions. Like they're actually realizing that they need to remove some restrictions. It, you know, um, just because a country is great doesn't mean it couldn't be greater you know it doesn't it doesn't mean japan has achieved its greatness because it's ethnically not diverse yeah like it there's no proof to like yeah japan is a great country but there's no and and it's ethnically not diverse but there's no data that shows they achieve their greatness because they're not ethnically diverse oh yeah I, i do agree that race shouldn't be an issue right in the beginning yeah in fact, I like to point to ethno-nationalists. The example I choose is the difference between South Korea and North Korea to show how ethnicity doesn't mean shit. Because there's no better example. Like you, the, 
is so close to creating a lab conditions that you could actually test two different people. Like you can't get better, better examples than this. I know it's never a perfect example, but this is as close to perfect as you could get. You get people that are ethnically the same, geographically the same, they have the close history, they have the same background history, they have the same background culture, everything that you could possibly think of is the same, and then they have different ideas. Like if, if anything can show you that ethnicity doesn't mean, sh com compared to ideas, doesn't mean shit, is the difference between North and South Korea. Yeah. Like, can you come up with a better example? Like, no, it's like, you, you know, it's fantastic. Good yeah. ideas versus bad ideas, same ethnicities. The difference is like light and day, you know, the difference between night and day, literally. You know, from space, you can see one of them is dark, completely dark, the other one is not. Like, literally, the difference is night and day. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I, I saw... To... Oh, carry on, Matt. Yeah. Well, going back to Vikram's uh, comment on neighbor... Uh, what's your name? On who? Who's that? He, okay. I mean, what's uh, the actress' name? Who... Oh, oh Brie Larson. Larson. Brie Wonder Larson. Woman lady, I call it. Yeah. No, uh, uh, Captain Marvel. Oh, Captain Marvel. Uh, when, when, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Captain, <laughs> I didn't like Captain Marvel. I like she's Wonder a bit, Woman. She's a bit of a dick. Like, <laughs> like, I didn't like that. You could defend her ideas here, but she is a bit of a prick. Yeah. I, didn't, like, I didn't like the movie. In my opinion, I like I, I, uh, she shouldn't have made that comment because if she wants a diverse, I mean, people to comment on a movie, they should make a diverse character in a movie. I mean, there's. I mean, I mean, a movie with diverse characters in it. They they have, but it's a very diverse movie. There's a lot of like different. I don't characters. think you should. Do you think people should aim for diversity in movies? Not really. I mean, you should. I mean, you should make a story with diverse people in it, a good story, and then make a movie out of it. Mm. Actually, I, maybe I think, I think you should. Actually, I don't know. I think you yeah, need that's more. What they did. You really want to target diverse people. Yeah. No, uh, but but, I, uh, that comment actually people don't realize it. She didn't make it for Captain Marvel. She made it in for another movie. Mm. I, I forgot the name. I have to look it up. But it's it was about something to do with race relations anyway. So that comment was black, fit yeah. with the message of the movie. Actually, I I have another regressive leftist position. Okay. <laughs> or people, something that people think is regressive leftist. I think it's it's it makes sense. To, for movies and culture and books and stories to on purpose make characters anti-stereotypical, gender diverse, to remove back. This is more a removal of barriers kind of action. Like the act when you're do like, so it seems like it's not because you pick somebody Let's say you picked a woman for a role to make a strong woman, to be a role model for women, to be like, you know, you don't have to take shit from society. You could be like power, you know, take action. You know, you don't have to like, you don't need to wait for a prince to come save you and stuff like that. If you pick some, if you do something like that, it seems like, oh, like, oh, you pick an actor because they're black and it seemed like their color of the skin mattered instead of their talent. So when it comes to the picking of the actor or actress, it seemed like, you're holding people's hand rather than removing barriers. But when it comes to the audience, I think you're actually removing barriers, right? Um, so it might be unfair to actors and actresses, okay? But I think when it comes to the impact on society, I think you are making a difference if some girls grow up and see, oh, wow, like, I don't have to, you know, I don't need Prince Charming to come save me or whatever. I could take control of my life. Or you see, like, more black kids growing up and seeing black superheroes. And you're like, you're like, it's good to not have every single fucking superhero be white. You yeah. know, kids look for role models. And if you, none of them look like it. Again, you feel like the color of your skin doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, that's the point. That's the point you're trying to make with these movies, right? So yeah. I, think I think I'm... I that's like, yeah. I, yeah, I, I kind of want more um, incidentally minority uh, roles. 
So like, you know, I, I, I joke with my friends, like who know I'm trans, like I'll joke. It's like, you know, I'm just like an everyday guy, but I'm trans and I'm hearing impaired and it impacts our relationship like practically zero percent. Like it's impacting us a little bit more because everyone's wearing masks. I can't hear a word they're saying. <laughs> but in general, it doesn't affect our lives. And I'm like, but every time I, I feel like a lot of the time when there's like um, uh, a person of color or a disability or or any of these things in a movie, it's like it just feels more often than not. It's not incidental. You know, it's like it's part of the story. So it's important that that person have that disability or be that way. And I'd like, there's something very empowering for me when I watch a TV show and there's someone who is hearing impaired and it's never brought up. Like they have hearing aids, but nobody ever talks about it. Like, like that is, it's, it's just yeah. more positive because you're like, oh, this is just a regular person who has friends and is going through this situation. And it's someone that like, you know, I and other people who have a hearing impairment mm. can look to and be like, oh, this is just normal. Like, they're not treating them any different. It's they're just it doesn't there. Even it just happens. It doesn't matter. Right. And I think, like, I was talking, I was actually talking to uh, 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 Shabam about this because it was like, um, it was, we were talking about in terms of like, I think there act actually is a little bit of a kind of ownership on, um, like, we should ha expect more of that from Western society. And, in movies like if we could just like sprinkle in more incidental characters that are minorities mm. and just not make a big deal of it like it's not part of the story they're just there there's just that incidentally gay character that incidentally trans incidentally black incidentally indian without an indian accent they're american born indian or they're american born chinese or all these things it's like very like it, i mean they don't have to be they can have an accent i'm not saying we can't have people with an accent but they just happen to be there it's not a part of the story it's not important, but it kind of like it would kind of like just go throughout the world or just be like, this is globally a thing now. And you just got to deal with it. You got to learn to deal with it because this is normal. That only makes sense to me if it's a cultural thing. It doesn't make sense to me if you try for that in a boardroom or if you're picking it. Yes. Uh, like if this you... is something that would be like because that's that's that, that boardroom's not like conclusive to the whole like um, right. uh, of the world. Whereas right. it's like if it's a Marvel movie and there's just someone, oh, this guy's incidentally gay. Like how many countries around the world are not going to show a Marvel movie? Mm. Because sure. there's like, and, and you're like, if they're not going to show it because it's a gay character, how many people are going to try and watch it anyway? Because it's Marvel. So no, if you I just mean, sprinkle that, I mean, to, to be fair, story, gay. like that was fair, a huge thing. You know? To be fair though, I don't think we could expect Marvel or any other company to go beyond profit motive. I just think this would be in line with being this would be in line with being profit motive because there's a demand for this. Like there are people that are like would support this. But if it's done right, right? Like you yeah. have to look for the cringe factor. Like a lot of people think like, oh, look at um wh what was it? Uh, Captain Marvel. That's like cringy, wasn't good. But yeah, but there's ways to do this right and there's ways to do this wrong. Like for example, nobody had a problem with Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman was a great movie, and I think it was a, a very empowering to a lot of women. Like, I mean, it was like everybody loved, I mean, everybody that everybody with, that is sane likes Stranger Things, right? And mm -hmm. look, Eleven, she's like a, you know, she's like, she could be a role, she seems to be the most powerful person in the show. And I think it, it does make a difference. It does, this is not about giving, this is not about being, giving special treatment or privileges to a to a group this is about removing privileges removing barriers from a group i think right and this is again i'm always i'm in favor of removing barriers i'm not in favor of giving privilege i think if you pick somebody because they're women just because you like in other environments just because they're women it doesn't make any fucking sense it seems like giving privileges and holding people's hands but i think it's if you if you're trying to normalize something Making, create, coming up with a story that someone just happens to be gay, you're helping. I think that is helping. I may be wrong, but I think that's helpful. Yeah, I, I would have to agree because I know they're my work. We don't have a lot of people in my studio, but everyone but one is, is a guy. And at one point, our guy was like, oh, we need to hire a woman. We need to hire a woman. And it's just at that point, it was like, look, there's like nine people in the studio and one of them is a trans hearing impaired guy. 
Like I, I think you're 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 ticking some quotas here. Like we don't have to just hire someone because they're a woman. If yes. a woman applies, she's great. Let's hire. Her. Right. But let's not go out with this idea of being like, we must get a woman. Like, you know, we we have to kind of get away from that idea because then it's just like handing people a job because of their gender and of like that's bullshit, right? We have to we have to like earn what we get. And there's plenty of people who and there's plenty of people I know and I would I, I keep like putting them in like with my list of like recommendations, it's actually like I think there's eight women and two guys. Mm-hmm. So there is women out there that I'm recommending as the artists they are. But I just felt like the way this guy was like, oh we need to hire a woman, we need to hire a woman. It's like it's you're it's you're ticking quotas. You're good. <laughs> you it's know? it's a diff- it's a difference between Let's say, for example, the president, the presidential presidential candidate happens to be gay. I'm never gonna vote for them because they're gay, okay? Sad. But if they win and they happen to be gay, and they win That's for true. other reasons than being gay, I'm gonna be happy that one of the side effects of a gay president is normalization of being gay. I'm never gonna vote for them for being gay. Um, and I hope that if they win the election, it wasn't because they were gay. But that's not a contradiction for me being happy that one of the side effects of a gay president is the normalization. We actually see that a lot in American um, politics, where a lot of people argue like abortion rights. It's like, mm-hmm. look at who's making these decisions. It's all these old white cis dudes. And I'm like, yeah, these guys are voted in in constituents where the only way you can be voted in as is as a Republican who is anti-abortion. So even if it was a woman, the mm. only way she's getting voted in is because she's anti-abortion. So when people are like, oh, we need to get more women in here. We need to get more women in here. It's like, no, that's not how it works. Right. That's not how politics works. We can't just take out every guy and replace them with women because if you replace them with the right, mm. you know, conservative woman, they're still not going to be like helping with abortion rights. You know, <laughs> it's like it's- imagine. Imagine if you have a president that is gay and everybody hates this president, but it has nothing to do with being gay. I think you would love, I think that was great. Like imagine if you're gay and you're saying, my God, everybody hates this guy. And none of the hate is because it's gay. This is beautiful, <laughs> right? So I think even if it's, unpo- it's an unpopular president, you can still help being normalizing gay. If the, you know, like for example, who is it? Pete, Pete Buttigieg, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, all, none of the attacks that I saw, except one example of this woman, none of the attacks on him uh, was because of him being gay. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure if you dig, you're going to find something. But it's great that at least in one side of the political climate, this is even not a question anymore. Like this, yeah. Is it because he doesn't look gay? Well, I mean... Oh, actually, I saw something about... Uh, I think someone someone well, accused him of something like that. Like some, I remember like on like some crazy far left people like said, oh, he because he kissed his husband, and they were like, oh, that's that's not how gay people kiss. That's like a straight man kiss or something like that. It was like a, like a conspiracy. Yeah. There's always Wait, conspiracy. I didn't know right wing people were experts at how gay people kiss. <laughs> no, that was a no, that <laughs> was a far left person. A far oh, left. Far person. left. Wow. He was like some communist. Like, far left. Jesus. He was like a communist, but not 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 all communists. Just this person. Okay, guys, let's end it here because we've been talking for like three yeah. hours. Long, long time, my god. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like this one's going to be the most controversial ones we've done. Uh, <laughs> this one, this is going to be. I'm going to do two videos. This happened. I'm. I don't have enough. Power is like time to put them together, so I'm gonna release two videos. Yeah, sure. <laughs> now the last video that we did. At the end, it's like Jack and Armin are still getting along. <laughs> <laughs> First like, video. Yeah. What were you saying, if, Armin? I think if we put that disclaimer, people will be like, Jack and Armin might be getting along, but I'm I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Armin, you know? <laughs> Fuck Jack, like oh shit. <laughs> I, I I should I should put a disclaimer before you go. Um, I do get a, like a little bit more uh, mad about this now because my girlfriend is br- is black as well, and it's kind of like I see some of the shit that she deals with now that I I feel like I was very ignorant of it in the past, and it's like 
yeah, I'm kind of a bit more quick to anger because I'm like, no, my my girlfriend is at risk, and like it's just a protective bullshit, like masculine thing. So, a little bit of disclaimer. That's why I get angry. Because right, it's, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm it hoping happens. that my position would not change if my wife was black, because that means I'm being very biased. I'm hoping that whether I'm right or wrong, my position was coming from a sympathetic. A sympathetic position for it to not be if my position changes because I have I end up having a black wife that means I was coming from a biased position well, which I, I, don't, I don't think that I just meant my anger you're right right my right. positions have always been the same but yes, yes. my You're my rise to anger is more kind of like a but that means like, you assumed I was I was being racist <laughs> but yes yeah, yeah. yeah it's quicker like if you're if you're like directly impacted by something then you're you're quicker to anger like the whole trans thing i was like you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i would get like heated but this one was just like because it wasn't me but someone i really care about i was just like do you think i had any racist intentions at any point like no but when it comes to racism racism, like yeah when it comes to racism it's really hard right because there's different degrees of it like like most people could show some signs of racism without realizing it yeah, but that means they're not yeah. racist. Yeah, means, yeah, sure. I mean, okay. This is why I am very tri skeptic when people get accused of racism. And even if it really looks like they're being racist, I'm always like, Yeah, but people told me I was it was I was being racist. And I know I think I know that I wasn't being racist. Right? <laughs> so that's why I'm always yeah. like, I'm gonna try to be charitable to these people as much as I can. As much as they allow me, because I know how it is for for your position to look like it's racist, even if it's not. I, I have that, you know, so that's why I'm try I try to be as charitable as I could be, maybe you know, as I you know, as as they let me, okay. Sometimes they just don't let you, right? Sometimes they're like <laughs> they just make it very difficult for you to be charitable to them. But I try to assume the best of people. And even if even if it's unlikely, and even if they seem to be like, okay, they made it very clear that they're being racist, I still think that if, even if there's a chance that they were not being racist, we, the punishment should allow that possibility. You know? The punishment should allow the possibility that these people were not being racist, I think. When it comes to racism, one of the, <clears throat> one of the hard things is that there's like two different definitions. When like most people, when we think of racism, we, we think of someone who's very hateful, like someone who genuinely like a Nazi, like a like a crazy person like that. Mm-hmm. But when there's also another definition, which is more about some biases that you may have, it's kind of like you. I think Jack gave me that example, which is like the liberal parent who says like they are completely in support of, say, LGBT rights or like interracial relationships, unless it happens to their kid. It's like, you know, so long as it doesn't happen to your kid, mm-hmm. like if it happens to someone else, that's good. We support you. But the moment it happens to you, you're like, nope. So, well, but let's be clear, though, if I was if, I, if I'm living in Canada, I don't care if my kid is gay. If I if I'm living in Saudi fucking Arabia, I I am hoping my kid is not gay. Is that bi- is yeah. that bias? No, no, right? I mean, it is biased, but I feel like it's understandable. It's not it's not biased. The bias is not coming from me. The bias is coming from the environment. Yeah, I mean, it, bias always comes from the environment. No, the bias. I mean, okay, the bias is not coming from environment through me to my kid. The bias is coming yeah. directly from the environment to my kid. <laughs> like yeah, I think, right? Have you I think seen the... like in, in that situation, you would kind of be like, I really hope you're not, but if you are, I'll support you and we'll find a way to get through it. Like that's that's kind of like different from like what we were talking about before, I guess, with like in terms of preferences. Like if it's, uh, I would prefer for your safety. But, yeah, that's what you, of course. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you but, made that um, clear but, by saying I wouldn't, you made that very, I think I made that clear by saying I wouldn't have a preference if I was, if I had my kid in Canada, right? So that's but even that's, even in Canada, it's still like I think most yeah. people would like, in general, prefer that their kid was like cis and hetero. Yeah. Like I'm talking about every my, time. My, I, I was talking. I'm talking about my preferences, right? 
Yeah. Um, my preference is, I might actually prefer if they were gay. Gay and the lesbian. Gay, gay is not so bad now, I guess. I guess, I, th I think most people would, like, they were being honest that, with, like, oh, their kids aren't trans, which I would completely agree with. It's like, I, I hope your kids aren't trans, but if they are, I hope you aren't an, an ass to them, like, type thing. Uh, I'm actually thinking about this. Why would I prefer if they were gay? I think it's a fuck you to... to oh, you, <laughs> it's, it's a you want a girl, girl, so you might prefer them to be gay because then... No, even if I had a boy, I would... I, would have, <laughs> I don't know. I think it would be... I don't know. Maybe because I, did, I was passionate about gay rights and my expectations would be my kid would also be involved in that whole thing more likely... And my kid and I will have more to bond over something and talk about something. I don't know. And hold the Allah is gay sign also. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, <laughs> have you? Sorry. Yeah, it just, it just makes sense in that situation. Go ahead. Have you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Last yeah, question, ahead. because we need to go. I think yeah. my... Yeah, yeah, just to end this. So have you seen the Donald Trump video where he, he told this reporter to ask China? Yeah, I okay. Another thing that made me gay. Now I'm going to put... I don't think that was racist. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying Trump is not racist. He's probably very... Like, has very racist positions. I don't... I mean, come on. Like, he's been so anti-China... He has been saying shit against China for many reporters. Now he's asking a Asian looking one, like, do you, like he's like, oh, go ask China to an Asian reporter. And now we think like he's picking on well, that reporter because he's Asian. Come on, I don't think so. Like I mean, how, the, how I, often he is how often he has said China, China, China to so many people who are not Asians. Like, come on. Yeah, I, but guess. I, I think I think if you look at the question, though, like just to quickly counter, I think if you look at the question, it didn't make sense to bring up China because China's numbers and, and testing. Yeah, like, no, that was, that that was not the question. China had nothing to do with the question at no, all. No, the question was like how, 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 yeah. No, it, the question, it wasn't it, to bring it, up. It might come, it, okay, in, in, in his stupid, like, if, if you think about his way of thinking, it made complete sense because... They're saying he was again. I'm not defending his position. His position is completely stupid. He's saying, "Why are you making this a competition?" Okay, well, he's competition against who? His main. He's against like he's thinking like I'm not. His again. He's yeah. he he doesn't know how to fucking speak, right? So what he was trying to say again in his own stupid way was like, "I'm not making this a competition against other countries." Other countries are making it a competition. I'm responding to them, right? So he's they're been like, what? <laughs> the other countries are. <laughs> I know. He's that's, the one thing again, you're doing I'm the not, best. We're doing I'm, that, not defending, right? I'm not defending that. I, I'm, I agree with you, okay? I'm saying, but this is, this is what he was trying to say. Even I'm not saying this is the right position. I'm not saying he wasn't being an idiot. I'm, I'm just saying his point was like, you're like oh, somebody's saying, why are you trying to make this a competition against other countries? And he was like, ask those other countries, okay? They, I'm just responding to them. Them make, they are making this about us versus them, and I'm responding to it. Again, I'm not saying he's right, and, and I'm saying not only he's not right, he took the worst way of explaining that, but I'm just saying this is what he was trying to say. It had nothing to do with that. I mean, I think, again, everything is possible. I think it had nothing to do for for that person being Asian looking. I mean, and I'm not saying he's not racist. He has a lot of views that are racist. I just don't think this is was one of them. Well, he he's always been consistent against China, going against China. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't. Uh, it's not really a big issue for me. Yeah, I mean, and he's and he's always been like, why didn't you go like this whole? Why don't you go ask those people? Like, what about his what his what aboutism is so famous? Like, why didn't you go ask them? Why didn't you go ask these people? Why didn't you like, oh, I bet you you would say this about that? Like, he always fucking does that. Like, uh, it's yeah, it's yeah, but very I mean, in context, like, was especially looked, when like she when she asked him, like, wait, why did you ask me that? Why did he just cut the interview short and leave? 
he's dumb. He's he got he's stupid. Okay, he doesn't. I, I think in the context of it, I don't think he was meaning to be racist, but that it was racist because it's like was, in in context, it didn't make sense what he said. It looks it's like why racist. are you making this a con- it why you making racist, this a competition? But it's not racist. I mean, no, if you don't mean to be like racist. if you say like why are you making this a competition and then also it just didn't it like in context with everything else that had gone on before that as well and the and the whole press thing and then to just be like why don't you go ask china it's like that that wasn't relevant to the question it's like yeah, but you're acting think, as if like, but you're acting but, as if he ask he answers i don't think it, i don't think it was yeah. conscious racism but i think a part of it was racism because it's just like he's just exactly. he just jumped yeah. to it in terms okay, of okay you guys okay so you guys I are saw. giving trump more credit than i do you guys are saying how is it? No, you guys are saying, saying what do you, you think he thinks, but it's like no, in his in his head he keeps doing this shit, and we're just like no, we're not. You guys are saying him. how was his answer relevant to the question? Like, do you guys even know? <laughs> do you guys have you? How is the answer relevant to the question? <laughs> do you listen to the rest of the way the way that he always answers questions? Like you could say that about, about almost ninety percent of the way he answers the questions. I could always like what? Did he, I could say that about like do you to try like have you ever listened to the goddamn question about design? Like you're going off a tangent here. I you just know, say, like common sense. You don't say that. Like, but you know he doesn't have much common sense. Yes, but. I think there's an element of being like sometimes you have to kind of look at it in terms of like well you get somebody who isn't racist would like even if they're a super dumb fuck would they have said that like not really it's a very I mean I know I, I've seen no, stupid I've seen stupid relevant. I've seen stupid people say stuff that wasn't racist but it sounded very racist Especially but, you know, I, I, I just don't give him the benefit of doubt anymore. It's like it's good sides on both. It's good people on both sides type thing. It's just like I just feel like he's benefit he's of lost. the doubt. I mean, I'm uh, not giving him. But I've said I'm calling. I'm saying that he has racist position. So if you say if I say this wasn't racist, that is not saying that he doesn't have racist positions. Like, did you guys really think that's a defense of Trump by saying that this? No, no, was I, I just I, I don't I don't think it is. No, but I'm I, like. I don't want to drag. I mean, he's worse. I say Trump is. I say Trump is worse than a racist. He's a war. Like every time I say, like, oh, I don't think this was meant to be racist, or I don't think he made that big of a mistake over there. People are like, whoa, why are you on Trump's side? I think he's a war criminal, right? I think he's a war criminal. So he's way worse than a race, just a racist. So I don't like, understand. In yeah. my opinion, like. Just to end this, I gotta go to. In my opinion, when I saw it, I just looked at it in terms of like this is just he's. I think it's another good example of just being like he is maybe he's a racist, but not for like the reasons that we're we're, we're discussing here. Like because in my opinion, I just looked at it in terms of, of like well, if you're not racist, then you have the the foresight to not be that fucking dumb. Like and we and we all know that he's a complete dumb fuck, but. You at least have the presence to be like, what? if someone is asking me this, and I even if I'm totally anti anti China, it's like don't fucking bring up China to the one person who's fucking Chinese. Yeah. Like that's that's just we're, like we don't. I mean, I didn't you know she was Chinese. Racist knows to do that, so he's he's beyond rate. Like even well, I, I made a dumb I made a dumb mistake like this. With, I made it. I, I'm okay. conscious racist. I made a stupid <laughs> mistake. Can I give you an example of me making a stupid mistake like this? I didn't like. So I, for some reason. I, I don't know who I started following. I started saying when people did something for you, I was like, thank. You. I went to them, going like, thank you, thank you, like this, like this, right? And then I was in Vancouver one time. I was in a Japanese restaurant and I ordered sushi, and they gave me food and like, the server came and brought the food, and I went to them like this, thank you. And then I was like, oh fuck. They're gonna think I'm doing this to them because I think they're they're Asian, <laughs> and I think this is the way to do. It. And I was and I was and I made it worse. I was like, oh, sorry, I didn't do this because you're Asian. I I'm doing this to everybody right now. This is a new habit that for some reason I picked up, and they were just looking at me like, what? <laughs> I was like, I made it so much worse by trying to. <laughs> so much about that though, like you had the presence of mind and know it, and it was relevant. No, but I made it worse. Situation. I made it worse. I like, I made it so much worse and awkward. Like it was such a stupid this decision that I made. It was so bad. It was so embarrassing. I never went back to that restaurant again. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Like I don't know. So.
again, I mean, I'm not immune to making decisions like that, right? Yeah. So, anyways. Okay, let's end it here. Um, yeah. This was fun. I know it was long, but I had I enjoyed it. So. Wow, we did another 40 minutes after we did a two and a half hour video. Okay. Just, just everyone just agree. And all right, all right, <laughs> bye, bye. No more discussions. No questions. Bye. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>